Hi everyone, it's me again, Sandy of Sandy Virtual Solutions. So yes, I'm back with another Canva tutorial. So I recently posted a branded form um, as one of my recent projects and I've received a lot of questions on how I came up with the table. Since it is 100% made of Canva, I actually use lines and squares to um, create that table. However, the questions were how I was able to make those lines perfectly spaced. Well, there's this workaround that involves with counting, but I'm going to go ahead and share that one with you guys. So I'm going to pull up an A4 document to get us started. Okay, so I have a workspace open. Let me just... Um, show you that um, form that I that we just recently made for a client so I'm gonna go to my folders and under all of my designs so here we go okay so we had that pulled up just close this one all right so First things first is when I create um, documents, A4 lead magnets, I make sure that I am on 100% zoom, um, zoom view to make sure that I can see everything. And it's some sort of like giving me a, like a realistic preview of, of how the document will look like. Okay, so this is the table. Just collapse that one. All right, so this one right here is a square. Let me just move it. And then here are our table. So these are squares. This is basically just made up of squares and text. However, uh, what I wanted to share with you guys is how I made them equally spaced and how I made sure that all of the elements like this right here is equivalent or what you call this is is a duplicate of this one right here all right so i'm gonna close this one because this is really small and also consuming so i'm gonna go ahead and delete this and create a new document all right so i'm gonna show you like the very basic on how I do it, then you can apply it on using like squares or thick borders. So let me just pull up a rectangle. And this is how I create a very fine line. So this is a rectangle. Let me just change the color to black so you guys can see it or maybe blue. There. So that's blue. So how I make it super thin is like this. So that's now zero. If we if we pull it up to zero, making the height to zero, there you go. That's a super thin line. Okay, but let's just make it bigger so you guys can see. You can maybe two right there. Okay, yeah, so what I do to make sure that the lines are consistent and perfectly spaced is I make a copy of this so click on that element make a duplicate and then place it right next to the very first one place it to where they exactly meet and then here's the trick so if you press arrow down it gives you one pixel of space so if I press so that was one arrow down so let me just count maybe up to five so one already two three four five there you go so it, it it gives you a five pixel of space now that's too close so we don't want that let me put it back there so pressing arrow down up left right once will give you one pixel of space but pressing shift in arrow down or any of the arrows so shift so this time i'm going to use shift arrow down that will give you a 10 pixel in one go 10 pixels in one go so shift arrow down there you go 
So for me, that is still way too close to one another. So I'm going to add one more right there. So that's 20 pixels total. So you might want to go ahead and like list, uh, make a list of the spaces that you made. So for this table, I'm going to use 20 pixels. So I'm going to make a copy again, put it right where they meet each other, and then shift arrow down twice for 20 pixels. One, two, there. And then to make it faster, if you need more lines, then you can just go ahead and select them all and then duplicate and then do the same process. One, two, and voila, there's your, there's your line. Perfectly spaced. Okay, now if you wanted um, to create like a border right here, you can just duplicate this, turn it to 90 degrees, put it right there, and then, oops. And then put the height set into um, 0 0.2 as this was the height previously. Okay. All right, that's too thick. So we can just maybe create something like this. Okay, there you go. So this perfectly space and then just copy that then put it right here. Or you can just simply put a square. So elements and the square. This one. So if you not if you notice this is so thick. So what we do to make this thinner is to adjust the square using um, this one right here at the corner. So dragging the corners will adjust it, its thickness so like that. Okay, so I need a little bit more thicker okay, there. There we go. So if you really want a very thin line, then just go ahead and pull up another rectangle and pull it out all the way, making it to zero. So duplicate. Okay. So I'm gonna like maybe 50 pixels. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do another five. See that red um, red line that shows up? So that's like your grid or your ruler. So that's very helpful. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go, perfectly spaced. Now for squares, we can do this as well. Let me just delete this. So let's say you have like <clears throat> a three, um, a three column table. So let's just pull up a rectangle. There you go. Let's make a copy. And then I'm going to press shift arrow right to give it a space of maybe 20 pixels or how about just 10 okay there just 10 and then another one oops just 10 okay there you go perfectly space <coughs> you can make it bigger than for 
for the next row, if you need something like bigger, you can just do this and then create the same space of 10 pixels. And just make it duplicate. There you go. It will be easier now since you have a grid line that comes up there. And let's say you need something smaller here. Then space. Just do something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. There. And if you need more, you can just select uh, select this three right here, duplicate, there you go. I hope you get the hang of it and understand how, how the basic works. And I hope that helps. So let me know if you have other questions. I'll, I'll answer them down in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.